Well, we continue here in the Pilot Oscar Meyer pregame show on the Smokies Radio Network today with a special guest, sports writer from the Des Moines Register. It is Tommy Birch. Tommy, thank you very much for joining us today. I know that for you, and you get a chance to cover the Iowa Cubs on a regular basis, uh, they recently put together a winning streak, and they're sitting at the top of their division right now. Yeah, yeah, they put together a nice little win streak there. They won seven in a row and then had that come to an end in uh, the second game of a doubleheader. Kind of the impressive thing about what they were able to do was they had a couple of rainouts. And during their last road game, uh, that game got postponed due to wind and freezing like temperature. So they were uh, kind of able to take this winning streak across uh, a couple of different cities and battle through some pretty tough elements. So I think if they didn't have those elements, it might be a little bit longer. It might still be going on. So for, for it to go as long as it did was pretty impressive in itself. Now, we just had Javier Baez bobblehead night here at Smokies Park. We had a line around the corner for people uh, looking to get uh, a, a doll, of course, the, the future Cubs. Well, we'll see where he guns up, ends up at, but uh, for their future superstar, perhaps, if you will. Um, I know Baez was injured to start the season. How's he doing now? He seems to be doing okay. He dealt with an uh, ankle injury that he suffered, kind of fielding ground balls uh, during BP during a road trip. And then he had some little bit of back issues, which stemmed from that monster's cut, which I'm sure everybody down there is pretty pretty used to seeing. That's kind of talking to scouts. It, it doesn't seem like that's something that's going to be too uncommon for him. If he keeps swinging the bat the way he does over the years, he's probably going to have some back and some oblique issues if – if that keeps going on, but he seems to be doing okay now. He's healthy, at least. He's getting more comfortable at the play. He's still kind of trying to make adjustments. Right now in the past, you know, uh, in the past, he's been mostly dealing with fastball pitchers, but now he's seeing a lot more off-speed stuff, and he's going to have to be able to prove that he can hit that off-speed stuff that's in the zone and not chase a lot of stuff before uh, pitchers start to him a little but more seriously as an off-speed hitter. I saw a tweet recently you put out, it might even have just been last night, about uh, Baez being hit by a pitch. He didn't want to leave the plate. He wanted to stay up there and swing some more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got he barely got grazed by a pitch, and uh, he, he kind of, you know, acted like, you know, maybe it didn't hit me. I'll, I, I want to stay up here and hack. <laughs> so he's been a lot more patient at the plate. He's getting better swings on the ball which is a good sign. He he seems a lot more confident at the plate. And just that fact that he wanted to stay in the batter's box is a good sign. Usually when guys are struggling, you see them, uh, they want to get done with their at-bats as quickly as possible almost. They can't wait to get out of the batter's box. But he seems like a guy that wants to stay in there and at least get his money's worth. Well, tell us about uh, Arismendi Alcantara. I, I know that he's gotten out to a good start. Yeah, yeah, he swung a hot bat. He, you know, we had a five for seven uh, game the other day that went to extra innings. He's a guy that's picking up confidence by the day, too. And he, one of the things manager Marty Peeps talks about is that he makes those early adjustments and he, he can seem, he seems like he can hit anything. He can hit the off speed stuff, catches up well with the fastball, and he's played pretty good defense, too. So I think out of all the big-name prospects that have been here, he kind of flew under the radar, I guess, being in the shadow of Javier Baez. But he's really uh, really opened up some eyes here, and he's he's been a very reliable hitter and gone on some pretty impressive uh, streaks. Tommy Burge of the Des Moines Register, our guest here in the Smokies pregame show. Uh, how about uh, Eric Jokish and, and Kyle Hendricks, guys who had tremendous years last year, how are they doing at this point very early in the season in AAA? Both those guys have been phenomenal. I think the great thing about Eric Jokish is when it came to Kyle Hendricks, there were a ton of expectations around him being the minor league pitcher of the year, seeing what he did at AA. I think a lot of people had high hopes for him. So Jokish kind of fell or kind of flew under the radar, but he's put together some really impressive outings. He's gone deep into games. He's battled some adversity when the defense hasn't played well behind him and pitched really well. So I think he's kind of been a, a pleasant surprise, so to speak. And then Kyle Hendricks, we knew what he did last year, and he kind of picked up where he left off the first start of the season. He kind of got roughed up a little bit. And, you know, that's a combination of the weather, I think. And it was his first start, and he was facing a really good lineup. But other than that first start, he's pretty much been lights out going five, six, seven innings. And, 
been been just as much as they've hoped out of him. Hey, uh, one guy who has made it, and I'm sure there will be many others to come that have gone that has gone that is this season from Double A Tennessee to Triple A Iowa is Jonathan Moda. And I know a lot of folks around here are maybe sad to see him go, uh, considering that he is a fan favorite as he's been around here for a while. But obviously, they're happy that uh, he's had the chance to make it to the next level. How's he doing? He's all right. He's put together some good at bats. I think they like the idea that they can really use him around anywhere. I know he can play some infield too. He's played the outfield and. They're going to kind of plug him in wherever they, they need the help because they're they're in a little bit of trouble right now with Brett Jackson hurt and kind of dealing with some other injuries. And when when you have all these rainouts and all these doubleheaders, you're going to need those extra bodies. And he's shown that he has a little bit of pop off his bat, and he's a real athletic player and seems like a super nice guy too. And I think the guys in the clubhouse love him too. So uh, I guess your guys' losses, I was gained. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Tommy Birch from the Des Moines Register spending some time with us here on the Smokies Radio Network. Tommy, thanks for your time. Very much appreciate it. No problem. Have a good one. Stay warm. All right. We'll do this again as soon as possible and stay warm to you as well. Folks, we continue next year in the Pilot Oscar Meyer pregame show live on the Smokies Radio Network.